So I saw this post on Facebook. I'm going to let y'all pause and read this. Here's the second part of that post. Pause and read it. And here are some of the comments. Pause and read it. Not all of them, but just some. And pause and read. One thing I can say I love about us, the millennial generation, is that we are not running from hard conversations. We've always, in my opinion, been that generation that is willing to have an open and honest discussion. And we're willing to say the quiet parts out loud, whether people agree or disagree with it. It still opens the floor for people to have their perspectives heard, their feelings validated in some ways, and for people to learn more. And I feel in us talking, not only are we empowering ourselves and those around us as our peers, we are also educating the generations that are coming behind us. And that is very important because there were a lot of details, as you know, Gen X, baby boomers and the silent generation. Those generations were not allowed to talk about anything. Gen X tried their best to push uh, the narrative in a different direction. They tried their best to um do their generational healing in certain ways but in some ways they still held on to certain beliefs and certain uh energies that they operated in from that baby boomer the silent generation and those generations that have come before them versus the millennials our generation was kind of forced to be a little bit more diverse we were that generation that was kind of pushed amongst people who differed from us in different ways in mindsets and in experiences motherhood is not for everybody marriage is not for everybody and we've been fed these ideas of one dimensional um relationships and one dimensional ways of life and we're told that certain only certain one way is the right way and that's the only way in order for your life to be fulfilled in order for you to feel to be of value to society and then there were a lot of emotions that was left out of conversations because people didn't know how to communicate or they just didn't want to um touch on certain points of trauma for themselves where we were forced to like they had to figure it out for themselves or find out as it happened to them and in us having these conversations openly and honestly it gives the generations behind us that's coming after us an opportunity to weigh true pros and cons and make the best decision for themselves in their life choices instead of them thinking that life only looks one way and they regret it 